This review was filmed two years ago, and henceforth, I seem quite different. So don't be asking questions, because that says it all. Your discretion is advised. Hello everybody, 4444SciNinja here, bringing you another review, and today I'm going to be reviewing a Bionicle set that I just got today, Bionicle Glatorian Legends Stranius, or just Gl Stranius, or just... so anyway, let's begin. Now first let's see what the bio code is, and he here's the bio code right here, I like I said in my um, Bionicle Stars, Paraka review or Nectin is his real name, I f I, which I didn't mention in there. Is that um? Is that however um? Oh, oh wait, so never mind. I forgot what I was gonna say. But anyway, so so the bot. Oh wait, oh wait, I remember what I was gonna say. That I can't focus the camera. I don't know if it even does, or I don't know how to. So anyway, um, the bio code is as you can see on the back of the canister. It's 57 R N I no um 57 R N 1 S I recommend writing this down I will repeat it 57 R N 1 S All right so yeah I just me I mentioned the bio code in just about every single review now let's go on to the figure and the figure he's very nice and a lot of other reviewers including Six Shot Reviews too he's they're saying that the color scheme is different. The red is a different color of red. And guess what? It is. That is true. The color scheme is different. Instead of it being bright Tahu red, it is the Dollar Vakama red. And, and so, yeah. And he has this huge club right here. So, I, I, so one other YouTuber said that he, it was, he, was, that he thinks it's Stranius is the first Bionicle to have a spiked club, and so I don't know why. And the club is actually two different pieces, and I don't know why they couldn't have just, um, I'm sorry for moving the camera, and so I don't know why they couldn't just make it one piece, and just put a built-in cross axle on the bottom, and I didn't know if there's this, um, part that was open here. So let me just peg it back in, and so yeah, and and he has these this like crest of spikes on his head, and as always, like all the Glatorians, he has the Glatorian life counter, five and four are both green, three and two are both yellow, and one and obviously the skull, which is death, are both red. So yeah. And also these pieces here, they're very floppy actually, they jerk back and forth. And he has the hooky um pieces right here. The hooky gag pe leg pieces or whatever. Kneecaps or whatever. And also in his torso, you have all you he, you'll see that he actually kind of looks to me like the the hardest of the Glatorian legends to build, the most challenging because of the of the, the chest plate design. Sorry if you can't see it. I was just focusing on the figure, not the camera. But anyway, there he is. There's the chest. And as always you have the Thorn Axe launcher. You just squeeze it here like on the great disc launcher and it launches the Thorn Axe. And let me just get it. And yeah, and it's made out of rubber like always. And you have the shiny part right here that you put it in, it the arms rest on, and you can squeeze them and fire it, just like on the great disc launcher. And so yeah, and the right here, the the upper body piece right here is actually a different color than this piece right here, the leg piece. It, it's a different color. This. The the torso piece is um gray while the leg supporter piece is black. And so yeah, and he actually has the biggest mask for a Glatorian and he actually he does have a Glatorian head, like all the other Glatorians. 
well, maybe not the spigot, but anyway, yeah. He he does not, but uh, he has a, actually a really huge mask. Usually, Glatorian masks are smaller than you might think. All right, so yeah, he's very nice. And he, and you, and what you can also do is you can curve it up like this, and you you have it over his shoulder like he's a caveman or something, and his club. So and you can also hold it, pull his hand down, his arm straight, and you can, you can whack people with it. And I know Stranius hasn't been in the camera much. And one more thing is that a pe oh sorry, there goes his thorn axe. It fits right in there. One more thing is that his his mask, it um no not his mask, his neck. It's actually it's it goes up like this. So he, he has a pencil neck. A lot of people actually hate the pencil neck feature, but I don't mind it. A lot of people actually think the and that's how the instructor told me to leave it. And the actually a lot of people think the pencil neck feature it is. Like, and a lot of people think it's like this. Let me just stand them up. So, so yeah, a lot of people think it's like this. If you have a bird, you put the bird right in front of Strani so he's in camera range. Not to knock him, careful not to knock him over. Then you take a Shrek Santa Claus hat and put it where it's also in camera range. And not the black strong ace or anything or the bird. Then you take a rubber band that used to be attached to one of those um, bounce back balls and you put it on the Shrek Santa hat. But then you take two blue Santa marks so is that your favorite color. In this case mine are blue. My favorite color is blue. Move move Stranius out of the way. Move the, both of the things back so you can see them. Put the Santa Mark so it's on top of the Shrek Santa hat. And then you take a picture of the very hot and very sexy Angelina Jolie and then put put it in, put it right next to the bird. And then and so it's kind of in camera range. Then you take SpongeBob characters and I hope you guys do like SpongeBob. It's actually a really good show. You take line them up in in order of your favorite. Like first take the Squidward one. Then I'll it can vary, but then ta I take Squidward. Then take Plankton, and then take, then I'll take Sandy, right there, and then I'll take whatever other character, and then take an, a spun, another Spongebob character, and put it right there, and the Angelina Jolie picture just fell down a little bit, and, and, and you move them back a little bit. And take all the other Spongebob characters, too, and put them on top of the bird. And, yeah, you put them on t all on top of each other if you don't have enough room. And, and yeah. And then, then you take the best by guy, and you put it on top of Stranius. And then you take, finally you take the golly mod head, and put it on top, and then you put it anywhere else you could fit it. Like, right there. Then you take a blue stapler and put it on top of the best buy guy if you can. And then, then you take my life, your life savings or whatever life savings you have, and put it right, right, right wherever else you can fit it where it doesn't fall down. Like let's let's just put it like right, right here and yeah, right there. And then you take a planetarium system and show it to the. Show it to the camera a little bit, and since you don't have any more room, you put it back. You take any piece that's fallen off, and show it to the camera too. And, and then you, and then you take. Finally, you take uh, Rubik's cubes, Rubik's brand toys, and show them to the camera as well. And put, and then put them wherever else you can fit them. All right, all right, so anyway, yeah, now anyway, this has been my review of Stranius. Hope you enjoyed it, and good.